Will Zack Snyder ever, ever let me down? Probably not. Let's review Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead stars Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell, Nora Onzetter, Garrett Dillahunt, and is directed by Zack Snyder. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, this movie was so good. It was so good. It was like a big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. And sometimes you want the artistic stuff, but sometimes you want that big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. And that's exactly what this is. And what's nice about it is it's not just an action cheeseburger, but it's also a little bit of a horror cheeseburger mixed with a little bit of a comedy in there, okay? I guess the comedy would be your fries. I don't know. What am I saying? Also, this will be dedicated to my newest patron, Chris Henderson. If you are of a certain tier, I will dedicate one of my reviews to you. And that's what I'm doing for Chris. Thank you, Chris. And welcome to the fam dam. It's interesting how quick this movie came out after Zack Snyder just finished his, uh, his Snyder cut of the Justice League. I guess the original version of the Justice League. The man must have been so freaking busy over the last couple years. I can imagine, I can imagine, because not only is this two movies, but it's two gargantuan, like, epic movies. There I go, getting to use the word gargantuan again. But anyway, let's get into this review. This dropped on Netflix today, and uh, I've been looking forward to this. I, I love zombie films, uh, good ones anyway, and we all know Zack Snyder did a, a remake of Dawn of the Dead, which was pretty damn good, pretty damn good. From what I heard about this one is it definitely had like an epic feel. I just finished it, and what I realized is this is kind of a love letter to Aliens. It's kind of a mix between Aliens and Die Hard and uh, I guess Dawn of the Dead, like the, the original Dawn of the Dead, just because the original Dawn of the Dead feels kind of epic, but this feels even more epic. Like, this feels like Dawn of the Dead on steroids. But really, I think mostly it feels like Aliens because you have this shady character like Burke in there, uh, played by uh, Garrett Dillahunt, who is awesome, by the way. He's like a secret weapon. If you see Garrett Dillahunt in anything, then go right in there, because he is always an interesting actor to watch, you know? Uh, he, he did the Last House on the Left remake, and I thought he did uh, really great work in that. But this is gonna be a spoiler-free review, so I'm gonna be very careful about what I say about these characters. Uh, but the good thing that you need to know is this does have some fun, interesting, memorable characters. Uh, the main plot here is you have this guy named Tanaka, uh, and he enlists this guy, Scott, played by Batista, Dave Batista, uh, who was a fry cook at the time, has him go into Las Vegas, uh, you know, in the underbelly of Las Vegas. And by the way, I visited Las Vegas a couple years ago. I had a blast. First time I ever visited there. I found out that, like, the underbelly of Las Vegas... Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I know some of you watchers live in Las Vegas. I've heard rumors that a lot of homeless people live underneath Las Vegas. And I found that interesting. So it made me think of that when I, when I saw this. But anyway, back to the plot. Uh, Tanaka, he says there's $200 million down below there uh, in this vault. Uh, and if you get in the, the vault, get the $200 million, and you can keep $50 million for your crew. And that it's a really simple plot. And meanwhile, this is a, a zombie world. Like, Las Vegas has been overtaken by zombies. And it seems like, kind of like Escape from New York, they've kept them contained in there. It's almost like a whole zombie society because you have different levels of zombie. You have, like, the, the alpha, and then you have, I guess, the soldier zombies or whatever you call the worker bees. Uh, this, this is nothing new. George Romero, the freaking godfather of zombies, he, he laid the groundwork for all this stuff. This is in Land of the Dead, the, the thinking zombies. Zack Snyder played around with that idea, and you have these, really, these two main leaders of the zombies. This one crazy dude who was turned into a zombie at the beginning of the movie, and he's got, like, a, a zombie queen, you know? Those are two interesting characters, because I like a zombie movie that has some zombies that stick out and this definitely does have a few of them. And then you got this like freaking white tiger because of course in Las Vegas, you're gonna have white tigers, right? So how fun is that to have a white tiger zombie? And I will say, without spoiling anything, there is a scene, crazy, bloody, horrific action with the uh, t white tiger, okay? Zombie white tiger. And you're gonna be wholly satisfied, like really, really satisfied when you see that scene. Kind of made me think of The Revenant, that's all I'll say. But let's dive into these characters, okay? Because I'm a character guy. There's some really good ones in here. 
Um, I don't really have to spend too much time on Batista. He he's pretty much Batista, okay? In every movie he does, he's 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 really capable in this role. Uh, he's kind of the leader of the bunch. But really, I like uh, the the people behind him. Uh, those are the ones that I find the most interesting. In no particular order, you got this one guy. He's like the the vault. The, you know, I guess the computer whiz guy. This is like the diehard portion of the movie. This guy, his job is to go in there and once they get to the vault, which is like harder than Fort Knox to get into, uh, he's got to get into it, okay? This whole part right here reminded me of Die Hard. It's like the, the characters split off and some of them are going to the Die Hard land and some of them going to the Aliens land. This movie's structured a lot like Aliens. I already talked about Martin played by Garrett Dillahunt, okay? He's an asshole, but he, he always plays a very effective asshole. But then, um, there's this one character that really reminded me of the blonde in Die Hard with a Vengeance, you know, that badass character. I'm thinking that was on purpose. Tell me that was on purpose, Zack Snyder. But she goes by the name of Coyote, and she's just a scene stealer. Like, every scene that she's in, she just chews it right up. She's freaking awesome. And she's badass, and it's just fun action with this character. She's cocky as hell. And what's more interesting is she spends a lot of the time with Martin. Uh, so you put those two characters together, and you got some interesting stuff happening. But there's even like some like fifth or sixth tier characters that kick ass. There's this one scene where you got the zombies and they're like hibernating. And this character Chambers, who is definitely, definitely going to remind you of Vasquez. Again, from you guessed it, Aliens. He just kicks major ass throughout this whole scene, you know. Um, really effective with a weapon. Because I think John Wick really turned a lot of directors on to, okay, we've done hand-to-hand -hand combat. We've done... Uh, shooting with guns, you know, uh, what if we combine the two and make somebody like kick ass with a gun in their hand as they're kicking ass? That's pretty much what Chambers does. Loved that scene. And there's like five more characters that I could easily go into. Uh, and you get the idea. This is a movie that's made up of really, really fun characters. And, and they keep you interested throughout the whole way because by the way, this movie is two and a half hours long. No surprise here with a Zack Snyder movie. He likes to let his movies stretch their legs, I guess. And you're going to have some of that Zack Snyder slow motion, but not as much in this movie as, you know, like we saw in like Justice League, of course. He stays on target with the with the action and the camera movements and all that stuff, uh, but he keeps the pace going. And in that two and a half hours, it's structured very much like Aliens, because if you remember in Aliens, it takes a while to actually get to the actual Xenomorphs because they're building the team, getting to know the team. That's what they're doing in this movie. Um, and, and you're just gonna notice a lot of beats that are gonna remind you of Aliens along the way. And if you didn't think of Aliens when you already saw this movie, now you probably are. And Aliens, I think, is the granddaddy of action horror movies. I don't think there's a better action horror movie out there than Aliens. It, it finds that line perfectly. This one does a damn good job, actually. It really does. Now, as far as any cons, I will say, um, it starts off a little rough and I was uh, kind of scared because some of the dialogue is on a little bit of shaky ground. But then once it finds its rhythm, once it finds its footing, then the movie stays the course and it never lets up. There's this one character, Marianne, that might divide the audience a little bit. I think some people might love her and then some people might find her annoying because she does get a lot of dialogue that's like, eh, I don't know, maybe they should have rewritten that. But then she does have some moments that are pretty funny. I ended up liking the character in the end, but there were moments where I found myself being a little bit uh, annoyed with her. And it's really not her fault. I think some of the writing was, you know, it didn't land. But as far as zombie action, damn. There's a lot of great zombie action. It's really bloody. There's an opening montage that feels like it could have been its own movie. Uh, you know, that's just how big this movie feels. I think this movie could have been taken down to about two hours, uh, but I'm not complaining at all. I, I, like, this feels like what the director's cut of the movie would have been. And I'm satisfied. I had a really good time. Like I said, big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. So... Definitely giving this movie a purchase worthy. A lot of fun. And Zack Snyder, uh, you know, he just cannot do me wrong. He, I just love uh, his movies. So let me know your thoughts on Army of the Dead uh, in the comments. Looking forward to hearing them. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for our Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on all my socials. Support me on Patreon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And Drum Dumb out.